Hi everyone, so as I told you, I was going to talk about this that why you should not switch to GTK4 or uh, like in general, okay, for those who are like kind of prepared to elevate the GTK version from whatever they have right now to GTK4, that's sure, do it. And this is only for, you know, maybe today, uh, it's only for 29th of August 2021 Indian time zone, maybe in future, definitely GTK4 will be supported, right? But I want to talk about how it broke my system, okay, and why reinstalling the OS was only uh like one of the only probable solutions okay now what i was doing was i was trying to install dependencies from source i was trying to build everything and it was going good okay but then i restarted the shell using control alt f2 and uh sorry alt plus f2 and then press r okay what it does is it restarts your shell whatever you are using and then it kind of you know there was a screen that came up there it was something like this oh no something went wrong please contact the system system administrator and i was really confused what's going wrong so i posted this on the zorium forum which was the distribution i'm using uh and i was using that time as well uh and it's great right so there, there's this person who came out and helped me out with you know maybe you can just try reinstalling everything or maybe again reinstall zorin os desktop but nothing of this sort worked and the reason was because i didn't update him about the background i was having like what i was trying to do so i told him that hey i was trying to do this and maybe this this broke a few things okay and then he told yes it definitely broke like it this can absolutely break a lot of things okay and uh this is something to take care of okay so if you're using for example ubuntu 20.04 which does not support gtk4 as of now okay by, by default okay so you might need to elevate things like whatever apps you're using right now whatever versions of glib and all it has at that point of time if you are updating it to different version uh it's it's not backward compatible always okay so sometimes things may break and it's not a good idea okay so that's just one reason i realized that we should not uh talk about gtk4 unless until it's in the stable release so we'll go back to talking about gtk3 okay taking this uh like you know decision was tough but but it's the wise one like of course i'm on pop os uh, 20 1.04 and it supports gtk as in it doesn't come it come by default but you can install it using sudo apt install gtk4 but yeah for those of you who are using ubuntu 20.04 18.04 i would really suggest please please uh don't try and build everything from source like blindly okay please follow the documentation or somewhere to be honest gtk doesn't mention that it will break something so which is okay like they expect people to take care of things by themselves and if it breaks it's okay to reinstall linux it's not that tidy for a few users right so yeah that's it uh that was the whole discussion I, I can keep scrolling down and talk about it but i think um yeah the best thing is for now to not touch gtk4 okay we will go back and talk about gtk in general and then it will be easy for us to move ahead and talk about gtk4 there is not an issue but i hope that this saves you from breaking your OS like i did so yeah take care everyone thank you